When Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, she probably had no idea that transplanting a human hand would turn out to be more miraculous than monstrous. That was two centuries ago. Two decades ago, doctors performed the first double hand transplant. But it's only now that they're declaring success. So why did it take 20 years to claim victory? Maybe because they know that the operation is only half the battle. The surgery is like a complex puzzle. The medical team attaches tiny tags to all of the pieces to make sure they join the correct ones. First, they use steel plates and screws to connect the bone ends. Then the arteries, which carry blood from the heart all the way down to the hands. Arteries lie deep beneath muscles and tendons. Veins rest closer to the surface and carry blood back to the heart. Connecting the nerves restores the sensory pathway to and from the brain. Next, muscles in the patient's forearm must be sewn onto tendons from the donor hand. Tendons work like cables that move the bones of the thumb and fingers. And finally, the surgical team stitches flaps of extra skin to cover the joined hand and arm. And as they pull tight those last stitches, the pale grayish hand warms and returns to a healthy color as blood begins to flow to it. There's more work ahead, of course, physical therapy and the battle with the body's immune system. But finally, that medical team can give high fives. Now their work is a proven success. And something else is proven. We are, all of us, wonderfully made and knitted together.